Hello, and welcome to this session on the 2020 Open Source Jobs Report and the implications in the age of COVID. My name is Clyde C. Pesad, and I'm the Head of Training and Certification for the Linux Foundation. The Certification and Training Group for the Linux Foundation's goal is to ensure that everybody has access to high quality, affordable, vendor neutral training programs on the key open source technologies that are increasingly at the center of all types of computing and in particular, cloud computing, as many of you know, because you are part of Cloud Native Forum here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do over the next few minutes is share some of the insights that came out of the report that is hot off the press. It was just released a few weeks ago with research conducted over the late part of the summer. And we will go through what those key findings are and some of the implications on folks who are working in technology or those who want to be working in technology. So let's, uh, let's have a look here at what the key findings were. Uh, DevOps. So one of the things that we have been surprised by is the rapid ascent of, of DevOps and interest in DevOps. And it actually has been accelerated by the shift to the cloud that we have seen as a result of the COVID pandemic with many more companies looking to push loads to the cloud in part uh, for cost reasons, in part for tactical reasons and the difficulty of getting to raised floor private data centers. And so perhaps not too surprising that almost two thirds of companies are hiring more in the area of uh, DevOps, uh, just to really transition from the old world of siloed you know, development, QA, prod, into a more collaborative culture of DevOps. Um, and the workflows that, that entails. So this idea of uh, complementing your skills by understanding uh, pipelines, continuous integration, continuous deployment, the you know, obviously a really wide variety of tool sets that is available uh, is gonna be something that is a very useful complement to your career uh, that you would wanna be adding on. It's really an area where companies are doing a lot of hiring. Uh, so next up is cloud, uh, obviously for cloud native con, KubeCon environment. Uh, clear majority, right? So 70 plus percent of companies hiring more candidates with cloud skills. Again, not surprising in a model where a lot of loads are being continued to be shifted to the cloud and particularly where the portability element of having Kubernetes based systems is allowing for um, companies to move their loads uh, into the public cloud with confidence that they're not going to have vendor lock-in. And so obviously this is a stack of skills, right? So when we say cloud skills, uh, we interpret that as meaning you know, some base level of Linux skills because vast majority of the public cloud runs Linux as its OS uh, and then Kubernetes as the orchestration layer uh, for managing all those containers. Uh, and so the uh, clear indication that the uh, value placed by employers on uh, cloud skills is going to continue to increase um, and makes candidates much more attractive to potential employers. Uh, I think one of the questions that was at top of mind for us at the Linux Foundation and our partners at edX when we did this most recent jobs report was trying to get a finger on the pulse of what does this all mean in the age of COVID and how has that impacted, uh, you know, we have a general sense of how that has impacted the economy as a whole, but what specifically has been the impact in the uh, tech sector and in hiring for IT professionals? And uh, I think it was a pleasant surprise to see that more than a third of companies far from cutting back are actually hiring more IT professionals over the coming months. So I think that, that's a really good sign. Perhaps not surprising given the data on the earlier slides, right? That more people are, are moving to the cloud, more demand for cloud talent. Um, but it definitely turns out to be one of the bright spots in the economy, uh, in the hiring side of the economy is this 
uh, continued focus on pulling in more skills um, in in IT uh, in, in, in an overall environment where uh, there's perhaps you know sectors where uh, those trends are going in the other direction. So definitely a good time to be uh, in the IT sector a lot of resilience. So if we talk all over slightly and think about how do we develop talent? Because one of the challenges uh, that's been longstanding has been the ability to recruit ta talent and develop talent. And the shift that we've been seeing for, for several years now, but it was really pronounced this year in the 2020 jobs report is the move to online training. So fully 80% of companies are now providing online training courses, I suspect many if not most of you uh, watching this today have probably taken one or more online training technical courses in the past year or so uh, and that trend does appear to be here to stay right that companies are focusing more on this as a really convenient footprint for developing and delivering training uh, to employees and the convenience factor of not having to pull people out for synchronous education where everybody is out at the same time. You let people work at their own pace um, through these online self-study materials. And, and that's also the way the vast majority of the training that we at the Next Foundation training provide is uh, self-paced online e-learning. Uh, somewhat related to that, uh, we have seen this continued rise in the desirability of certifications. Uh, so you see a couple of stats here from both perspectives. Uh, the top one is from the perspective of hiring managers. A majority for the first time uh, over the years we have been conducting this research. Uh, for the first time, a majority of hiring managers are actively giving preference to certified candidates. And the flip side of that, you see two thirds of individuals are planning happy to take an exam this year. Uh, Again, probably not surprising for this audience, the Kubernetes exams, CKA and CKD, CKAD have been particularly popular for exactly the reason of candidates wanting to demonstrate their skills and hiring managers wanting to see those skills. Um, hopefully everybody in this audience knows that the Kubernetes exams, CKA and CKAD are performance-based exams. So you, you, it's not multiple choice, you actually have live scenarios that uh, as a candidate you are responsible for um, conducting those tasks and having them graded. So it is very much a, a skills-based assessment of um, your competence on Kubernetes. And, and I think the general shift towards having more performance-based exams is a part of this trend of the rise in the um, desirability of certifications. So let's talk next about the big picture of where are we with open source talent? This has been a topic that our research has focused on pretty consistently since we started doing the survey and the uh, continues to move in the same direction. The 93% of hiring managers reporting difficulty. Uh, you know, I'm sure those of you who are on LinkedIn in the cloud space probably are getting a significant amount of requests uh, coming in. There's a lot of poaching going on because there's just not enough open source talent. Uh, the demand is continuing to go up. You see 81% of um, powering companies making it a priority to hire more talent in this area. Uh, I, probably not surprising for those of you on this call, but it is an area where uh, we at the Linux Foundation view it as an important part of our mission, right? How do we create more on-ramps to open source talent and more ways that are affordable, convenient, and high quality for people to get the type of training and demonstrate the kinds of skills that employers are going to be looking for because there is still a lot of demand out there for, for open source talent and more demand than there is a supply of skills, uh, which is problematic. And so we trying to bring more people in really is a key aspect of trying to make this successful. Uh, related to that is we're seeing more and more companies realizing that you can't just hire externally to address this gap. So upskilling really is part of your recruitment strategy, looking at your existing employees and figuring out how do we get them 
this upgraded skill set that they need uh, in an age where we're moving more loads, particularly to, particularly to the cloud. So over half of employees here, yeah, 57% of employers are uh, investing in upskilling their, um, their workforce. Uh, trying to find, trying to build that talent pool, right? Linking back to the prior slide on just how much of a, a shortage there is. Uh, and this also ties into the stat we saw earlier, about 80% of companies providing uh, online training, right? Just a bigger emphasis on uh, creating pathways to develop talent. And, you know, one of the things that is uh, interesting, uh, you know, it's not always the, uh, you know, se sexiest element is just how important Linux continues to be as a must have skill set. Uh, you know, the vast majority of cloud instances, you know, 98% of, of uh, AWS instances run on Linux. So if you're talking about skills in the cloud world, there is a uh, sort of eat your veggies aspect, right? Where having Linux as, uh, as a core table stakes skills is an important part of what it's gonna take to, uh, to be successful. Uh, and then let's just look at a couple other things. Um, Diversity remains a challenge. Fast, vast majority of employers, 88%, try to make more efforts around uh, increasing the diversity of their workforce. Interestingly, only 70% of employees agree that they are seeing um, that increase. So definitely more work to be done there. Uh, and then finally, just a quick plug, uh, there is a virtual training boot for the Linux Foundation and uh, encourage everybody to stop by that booth and uh, ask questions. So thanks again for joining the session. Uh, if you have questions, stop by the booth, visit the website and uh, good luck with your continued career cloud journeys.